Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Currently it is iCast 2021. Today is the very first day of iCast. Basically the borders are closed from the US and Canada so I could not go down to the states and go to iCast so I decided to bring iCast to me and do an unboxing of a new reel that is coming out this week. So for the past few years, I have pretty much been exclusively using a Shimano Nazki reel on all my spinning rod and reel combos. I've been really happy with this reel overall uh, and have had no need to upgrade it until today. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the brand new Shimano Nazki spinning reel. We don't need to read the instructions. I already did a little bit of research. Oh yeah, this is real nice. Right off the bat, taking it out of the box, these two reels look almost completely different. We got this one that is mostly black with a little bit of gold and silver and this one is completely silver. So it's got Hagani gear, x chip, propulsion line management and these three features have been awesome on the Nazki for the past number of years but we are going to get into the new features. One of the cool new features is called Core Protect. Basically it came from the higher end reels and it is a water resistance system. It keeps the water from penetrating your reels and making them last longer and working smoother and better. The big new feature for the Nazki reel is silent drive. I'm not gonna get into like the technical details about it. I'm sure there will be tons of new videos coming out from Shimano. In a nutshell, it will keep your reel running smoother and quieter. The cool thing about the new Nazki is it comes in sizes from 500 all the way to 5,000, so it covers pretty much any type of fishing. I'm excited about the 500 size reels because I live in the north and I can use it for ice fishing, but we can wait a couple more months until the winter because I'm good with summer fishing. So guys, I'm going to put a link in the description down below uh, for a video that Shimano will put out, um, basically showing all the specs and more technical details of this reel. But for now, I'm going to spool up this baby and put it to the test. Okay, sticker is off. We are now going to spool this baby up. Uh, we are using eight pound Power Pro, uh, but for those of you who don't know, you have to put a, either a fluorocarbon or mono backing so that the braid doesn't slip when you are using the reel. So once you get your backing on, you tie the braid to the backing and then spool her up, put your fluorocarbon later on, and then you are good to good to good to go. Now it's time to tie the bait on, the bait of the day. I'm doing blue to match the entire setup. Okay, we are all rigged up. We got a matching blue setup. This is on a Shimano SLX rod. We got blue line, blue jerk bait, blue rod. Let's get fishing. So we are going to be fishing 12 feet of water to probably 17 feet of water today. We might go in shallow to start off. Could be a multi-species day. And honestly, I would be okay with that. It'd be cool to catch a sheep petter, big sheep petter pike on the new reel. Oh, fish on! Or a rock on, no, it's a fish. 
I don't care if it's a big sheephead. I just wanted to catch a fish on the new Nazki reel. It is peeling line, whatever it is. Oh my gosh, it's still going. It is still peeling line, oh my. I think it's a big sheephead. I just need to let it run, I think. It has yet to jump. Holy cow, she's still going. Pull and drag. Oh my gosh, this is a big fish. Oh my goodness, look at how far out it is. It's gonna spool me. Oh, now it's coming towards me. I hate when fish come towards you. I'm assuming it's a sheephead because it has not jumped yet. It is a big sheephead. I'm spot locked right here on a shoal using my jerk bait. It's about six feet of water is the shallowest. And I've just been casting around. We saw a big school of bait. So we thought, hmm, maybe there's small out here. But there's sheephead here. It's a big un, it's a big un. And there we go. First fish of the day. First fish on the new Nazki spinning reel. And we got a ginormous sheephead. First fish caught on the new Nazki reel is a freshwater drum. Some people might know them as the sheephead. Not the target species, but they fight crazy and are super fun to catch. So I think that was a success. Let's get this guy back. There he goes. <laughs> bye bye, sheephead. Oh, I just got followed up by something. I think it was a sheephead. I don't know though, because it looked kind of brown, like a small one. It got spooked as soon as it saw me though. Okay, next spot. smoke guys uh, as you can see the wind has completely blown up uh, in a matter of minutes the good thing about living on Lake Erie is there are small mouth the bad thing about living on Lake Erie oh I got bit bad thing about living on Lake Erie is the wind can change within seconds it has blown up I changed baits I've got oh I got hit again Man, this fish needs to commit. I changed baits. I'm using a sleek jig with a swammer, and hopefully we can I can pick off one or two fish before this wind gets way worse and we have to go in for dad to get to work. Fish on. Oh my goodness, that did not take long when I switched it to the swammer. He completely hammered that thing. Oh my goodness. Think it's another sheephead, but that is okay because these fish fight like crazy. Holy cow. <laughs> fish is going, fish is going. I have yet to see him and he's not jumped, so I'm 100% sure it is a sheeper. Oh wow. <laughs> He's got the rod bent right in half. <laughs> Holy cow, this fish is crazy. Oh my gosh, it's still feeling wide. Net is over here. Just getting it prepared. He's still got energy and pretty far out. Oh, I think this one might be bigger than the last one. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> He's still fighting. He's still fighting, guys. Still fighting. He completely choked that swimmer. Okay, reel up a little bit more. Got too much line out. Pull the rod. Oh, come on, get in there. And in the net we go. Number two. Second 
second sheephead, second fish on the Nazki reel. And we got him on the sleek jig and swammer. Oh yeah, baby! That drift did not take long to produce. Woo! Slimy sheephead number two. Man, did this guy fight. He ran like 10 times, but I managed to land him. Let's get a quick picture with him and then get him back. There he goes. Let's catch another one before we have to go home. So the bait I'm using is a goby imitation. Both smallmouth and sheephead love to eat gobies on these rock shoals. And so basically this rock shoal is more prominently has sheephead on it, well at least today, um, but you will catch the odd smallmouth. The cool thing about sheephead too is if we really want to put this reel to the test today, they fight like crazy. As you saw earlier, they love to pee a line and bulldog and go as fast as they can. They just swim. One more and we're golden. Fish on. That did not take long. We had just started this drift. This is a fish, correct? It feels like it's fighting back. Yeah, it's a fish. I can feel it moving. <laughs> I literally thought it was a rock because of how it's fighting, man. Like, it felt like a snag. Literally just got to the top of this drift and we are hooked in to another fish. Eight pound line, we're fishing rocks. I did not check to see if there were nicks in my line, which I should have. There he is, I see him. Swimming right to the boat. That does not look like a, oh my gosh, it's a walleye. This is sick. I did not expect that. Yes! This is a awesome surprise. I did not expect to catch a walleye in like 10 feet of water. Oh yeah, baby! I have not caught one of these in a long time. On Bass Gear too. He completely choked that bait. You, you can't even see it. It's way down in the back of his mouth. What a beautiful fish. This is my first walleye of the season. And man, did he fight hard. He bulldogged and I seriously thought that he was a sheephead. What an awesome surprise. I'm gonna go put this guy in the box because we are taking him home for dinner. I got it. How was that for a surprise, eh? <laughs> I got my heart pumping, man. That woke you up. I can't help myself. In the last two drifts, I caught a sheephead and a walleye right off the bat. So I'm going back to the top. This is our last drift of the day because the wind has picked up substantially. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can hook into one more fish. And I think dad wants a walleye too because he wants to have one for his dinner. That one's all mine. So basically how I'm fishing this bait is I'm casting it out and uh, because the, there is a lot of wind right now, it's just dragging along the bottom and, while the wind pushes me and sometimes I have to bounce it over a rock because it could get stuck. It has an exposed hook like a tube jig, whereas if I were using a drop shot, I wouldn't have to do that because the, um, the hook's higher in the water column. Fish on. Oh yes! On the last drift, we got a 
fish on. I wanted to go a little bit longer and fish the sandy area. And right as soon as we got to the edge of the shoal, this fish hit. Oh, that was a good head shake. Another sheeper, I'm assuming. I've not seen it yet. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's a sheeper. Another sheephead. <laughs> I tightened my drag a bit because it was a little too loose during the walleye fight. Oh my gosh, look at the bend in that rod. This fish does not give up. Oh my, he's not out of energy yet. He's not out of energy. I thought he was out of energy. I'm struggling with this net here. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Get in there. In the net, he goes. At the end of the drift, we hooked into him. And man, was that a fight. My arms are hurting because of how hard he fought. Smallest fish of the day ended up fighting as one of the hardest fish of the day. Beautiful looking. The wind has picked up even more. We are going to unhook this guy, let him go, and then head out because we do not want to get stuck out here. There he goes. Well guys, that is it. That is the new Nazki reel. It was a short little trip this morning, but we really tested it out on those three sheephead and that walleye. I cannot wait to keep using it in the future. It performed awesome, and I hope to catch some more giant fish on this reel. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please click the like button. And if you would like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. And of course, always remember to, take a kid fishing. We will see you next time.